Let me break down Leonard here. Leonard, 74 years young. O's. Oh, no, God forbid something. I've been doing this for 15 years, so I'm going to make it easy for you. 126000 right now, right? So if God forbid yeah. something happened to you, is she on the mortgage payment plan too? No. Okay, that's the issue. So we have 126000 Now, let me ask you this. If I put a sheet of paper, Leonard, down the middle, and I put you and her side by side. What's her name, by the way? Ruth. Ruth. Ruth and Leonard. I'm going to put Lenny down just for short. Yeah. How old is she, buddy? She's 64. So she's got 10 year difference on you, too. So, yeah. so she's got like, hell, she might die at 90, you know? Yeah. And, and so, same with you. So, you know, never know. But uh, that's the new 85, 80. So we got that going for us. And here's the problem with this is that on this side of the paper, if I take you out, right, I want to know what she loses. So, how much money will she not be bringing in by your death? What, what, what would her loss be? Uh, You're a veteran too, right? Yeah. Well, you did more than two years in the service. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if she knows this or not. If you know, but all veterans get there's a death benefit that they would receive monthly that a lot of people don't know of. It's different than everything else that you're told. It's about two thousand bucks a month. So it's a death benefit. She will have to call. Who did you call for my grandmother for my grandfather's yeah. service? Call the VA and get this. So we're gonna let her know about that. And yours will be probably in between one thousand and two thousand dollars extra. Now you're the higher of the two social securities, or is she? I'm higher. By how much? Do you know? She hasn't retired yet. She still works. You don't know where her social security is at this no. point. Okay, so she can go to ssa.gov and figure that out. Now the reason I mention that is, look, spousal benefits are important. She could possibly collect that now while working, too. Uh, so it's something different. But I'm just giving you hints on how to bring in extra cash. I, I got into an accident here. That's why I got a little black guy. I moved the Harley and it dumped on me. I hit my head against the wall. <laughs> so the VA, and then Leonard, we have that 126000 What's the monthly payment for the 126000 <laughs> Okay, Ruth will inherit what from you? Does she have, she gets the Social Security. That takes six to 12 months to transfer though, so she's gonna have that time. She doesn't own the home, so immediately the bank's gonna want her to own the home somehow. <clears throat> now let's say 10 years from now you get the mortgage down. One of the ways to do that is, I don't know if they gave you bi-weekly options. No. Okay, I'm gonna show you this because this is what everybody's doing today, buddy. Weekly. It's called bi-weekly payments. Mm -hmm. So we're going to split that 805 right in half, which is about 402.50, I guess. 402.50. This will be on the 1st of the month and the 15th. If you do that, they will subtract 10 to 15 years off of the mortgage. The reason they do that is because anytime the bank, for every dollar loaned out, the bank receives $7 back. So when they get this money faster, they're able to invest it faster. So by doing bi-weekly, they'll subtract the interest off the house. Okay. So you're not paying interest. So let me give you a mathematical solution to that, which means, believe me, Leonard, it's, I sucked in math in school, but it actually comes down to all the math uh, times two. So that's monthly times 12. Let's do times 10 years. That's 96600 bucks back in your pocket by just calling your mortgage company and setting up bi-weekly payment arrangements, okay? Okay. Now, the other thing we want to do is go over what she will need. Does she want to stay here? Oh, yeah. What's the what's the house valued at? Um, I can't think of where it was. How about a guesstimate, if you would think, uh, 200? Is it less than that? Uh, no, it was less than that. Cause it was 100 and a half. No, it's more than that. Uh, say 170. I was going to say, yeah, maybe 170. So we got equity already in it of what? Like 50 grand? So she has 50,000 bucks. Here's how this is going to work. When you pass away, okay? Mm -hmm. She has three months. If she doesn't make payments for three months, they take her out and they just lock the door. They're trying to shrink that down to one month. 
So this is where the issue comes into play. So this 50 grand, we want her to walk out the door with. So if she can't stay here, at least she walks out the door. So what I'm going to tell you to do, most of the time it's like this. Because of your age and, and balance of finances, let me do this for you. Does this household income bring in more or less than 5000 a month? Do you want him to turn that down a little bit? Can, can you turn the TV down a little bit? Can, sure. Or can you hear me? No, okay. 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 He's VA, so I need to know what his medical is. I will. And his age. I just want to get this point across and then we'll get that out okay. of the way. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, build the value up. That way we you. get away from, uh, we'll get him a building report too. Okay. So here we go with that. The question I had was household income above or below 5000 bucks a month between the two of you? Above. You closer to 10? No. Seven fifty, seven five. Yeah, well, it all, it all depends on when I go back to work. Are you going to go back? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going back. Uh, I just got approved today to go back uh, uh, anytime between now and whenever the law takes me back. What makes you want to do that anyway? Do you want to, you want more money? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? Now because I'm disability and that's two hundred dollars a week and that just ain't cutting it. Well, what I'm saying is, if you're at seventy five hundred bucks a month, that's that's a pretty decent amount of money though already. You know what I mean? I, I don't know why it's. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if work would change that much. Oh yeah. Why are you, you know? disabled? If you don't mind me asking. I fell down and broke my shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. So. Take any medicine? Oh yeah, I take uh, go to therapy every every day for four days out of five days out of the week. Got it. Are you diabetic? No. Do you smoke? Yes. Um, any kind of cancer, heart issues? Nope. Okay. What other medicine do you take for PTSD? No. Oh, I see VA. So sometimes. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> A lot of those guys are. You know? um, yeah, do you have I a know. list of your medication? I'm just trying to pre-qualify you. That's all. Uh, I take. Uh, Brio, which is an inhaler, the COPD. With COPD. And uh, high blood pressure medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, baby aspirin, that's strictly voluntary. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well, he has to get you have any prescriptions that are on the, on the, 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 the they prescribe to you, but you don't take? Like, no. is anything on? Okay, good. No. Let's do this. I want to share with you two options here that people usually do. May Here's I see his option lead, please? A. Thank you. Option A does this. It takes you from where you're at today, right? The 126K, and it just pays it off. However, I don't think you're going anywhere for a while. So I think we can lock this one out and do option B. That shrinks it down. It says that he's going to go somewhere in this area. Okay. And this is what you'll owe. <laughs> you know what I mean? The option C is this, and it's the probably the number one option that people fail at is saying, if I can't pay the whole 26, 126 off, I don't want it. But I tell them, listen, I've been doing this a long time, and I'm telling you that's not how it works statistically. How it works is by the time – is this place two fours, by the way? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me tell you something. By the time this woman's 80-something years, these steps are going to become something she doesn't want to do. Right. <laughs> you know what she I'm doesn't saying? want to do them now. Right. So what I'm going to tell you is this house is probably, you know, more, it uh, definitely is more valuable to her if she sells it for retirement. So by the time you go, she's got a hundred, hundred and a half coming to her from the sale of the home. So the only thing you need to do is buy her time to do that, period. And or pay off what's left on the house. You know what I mean, so for 50 grand on the house, you pay it off for 25,000. Your lifeline seems pretty good so far. I don't know about the smoking. Maybe that's going to knock you out, brother. But What's the uh, name of the inhaler again? I'm sorry. Brevo. How do you spell that? <coughs> B-R-V-O. It's going to be hard if we keep switching them up on things. Sorry. Can't keep them. All right, don't worry about it. I'll look it up. I'll just put uh, Spareva. Oh, here it is. Right in front. Of you. There you go. Thank you. All right, so again, I'm going to do option C for him, which is uh, let's buy her time to get out the door. Cost effective. Here's what this does. I have it too. I'm going to give you the same damn thing I have. 
if God forbid I pass away, right? She's going to get a check. She can sell, I told her, sell the damn house, get the equity. She doesn't like the house anyway. Take the equity and that's you. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's what you get to live on. Uh, now, I'm hoping this is years down the road, right? Uh, maybe I'll pay the house off, but if I don't. Now, number two, if she would go first, I cash the policy in. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to take the money I put inside it. So your premium payments work like this. They go into this. Let's say this is uh, 20000 bucks up here or something like that. If I die, she gets twenty grand. If she dies, I get what's in the bucket. All the cash that I was saving, earning... Which, you know what you're capable of doing for him close to like the the is he have to do COPD so he's got you have Transamerica yeah do you know your COPD okay. is it so, mild moderate or severe mild I don't know yet so this is going to earn 4.5 percent interest on your money okay now if God forbid this is ever said to you a doctor says hey Leonard you only got 12 months to live you get the cash while you're alive, and you don't have to pay it. Excuse anyway. me, one more question. Yeah. When we diagnosed with it, how many years have you been taking the Brio? One. You were just diagnosed a year ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what we have here is we're going to take the the timeline that she that she has is probably going to outlive you. She's ten years younger than you, buddy. And even if she was your age, they outlive us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to buy her time. To sell the house. And this is the number one way she's going to survive inflation, tax increases, health care going up, cost of living, and the value of the dollar going down. Okay? And that's the facts. Let me show this to myself so I can know what I agree with. So you're going to have inflation. That's about 4% annually. Let me give you, for instance... $100,000 today, right? In nine years, will be worth $74,450 in just nine years. That means it takes $126,000 to equal that same hundred grand. Now, you've been around long enough to see inflation. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What was a pack of cigarettes when you started? 20 <laughs> Whoa, yeah. man. <laughs> I remember 125, man, and, and you went, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My dad used to send me to bars or, or local stores in Pittsburgh to get their cigarettes. So, Sharpsburg, uh, Fox Chapel, right across the bridge from the Pittsburgh Zoo. High in Park, but uh, about 10 minutes from the city. So just remember this. This is what she deals with. And honestly, God, I want to bed this into you. When you're not here, you're thinking, I'm here, she's okay. The income she loses, buddy, is what? How much money you bring into this house? Uh, let's see. I get about 60000 a year. 60 grand a year. And that would be her loss, right? Yeah. Now, do you know what she brings in a year? To, to... $40,000. All right. And she has, let me do this. Let me divide her up because that's important to do. But that's why she's working. Yeah. yeah. So would she have an idea when she's going to get out of the game or? Yeah. When? Uh, so when she turned, I think, uh, 66. She's got two years ago. So she brings in $3,334 a month for this 40 grand. Now she would subtract that 800. It's not like she could afford to stay here, but she doesn't own the home. Right. So she got to go or she has to buy out the house. Uh, I'll tell you, be honest with you. I tell a lot of women this. Look, here's the bottom line. It's a pain in the ass to sell, but you're going to walk away. You got this income. You take the 7,500 grand that he left you in this house, walk away, have a nice retirement, go across the street or when the house comes up for sale, just rebuy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Another way, real quickly, for you to understand this is to tell the bank, tell the mortgage broker that you want to sell the house to your wife while you two are still alive. So if you do that switch, but you get the mortgage down first. So she well, only... I'm, I'm a VA. This is a VA loan. I can't transfer it to her. No, no, no. But you can sell it to her. Yeah, but she won't get the VA benefit. I know. I Does know. he have any coverage? 
I know, but that's that's something that you have to weigh out, right? So right. her best bet again, sell the house, walk away. You're dead, remember. Right. Walk away with the equity and just uh, to enjoy. <laughs> it's on her grand, you know? This is fake. Did you hear me? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Can I see? He yeah, 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 yeah. I was. I'm getting it. Now let me ask you this: I got a list of what you have. Uh, do you have life insurance existing? No. Or could you have a, any stock-based products? No. Uh, does your wife have any stock-based products? Yes. What does she? What would you inherit from her? What would the death benefit be? Do you know? I have no idea. Does she have a four hundred one k or something. She has a four hundred one k. She has uh, inheritance from her uh, mother who just passed away. You know what that is? Ten thousand. You know the four hundred one k is it from the existing job? She been there a while. Uh, let's see. She's been there. I think three months. And she has a four hundred one k. The four hundred way. Four hundred one k that she had it just transferred over. Okay. You know how many years she's had it? No, about eight or ten. Got it. Because uh, if she transferred it over, the, there there is the four hundred one k of today. I would like to show her. Because of the downside market hits, uh -huh. I want her to be aware of her options, which would be this. It's the index market. So it only goes up. And if the market goes down, it just flatlines. So you don't lose anything. Uh -huh. Then when the market comes up, it goes up again. That's what America is doing today. Even the financial companies are getting involved in this now. They're trading up the 401ks for this. So she's probably going to get involved in that. But they do it for a... The whole financial situation is set up for them, not us. Okay, this four hundred one k is probably being charged four point five to six percent annually. So if she earns seven percent and they're charging her six, she only brought in one percent. That's the truth. I was one, so I know how to cheat the system, and I, I don't do it anymore. So this is a, a crime, and uh, Congress is trying to stop this from happening right now. Actually, so here's the last point. Fitting this into your budget, remembering it's a savings account for you, okay? So if God forbid she goes, remember, you're going to cash this damn thing in, go have a party, pay off the house if you want. So the premiums would be, let's see, if you guys bring in about, oh, you bring in 60 and she brings in 40, that's 100, not 75,000. So you bring in 60, right? about that when I'm working full time. But what do you bring in when you're not working what I'm more concerned about? So let's say now, if it, if it were to stay this way, what's the worst case scenario? Uh, let's see. About uh, 2000 a month, right. so that's about 24000 a year. Yeah, so it's just about 64000 I'm sorry, uh, what the hell? Yeah, 64000 between the two of you. I see why you want to go. That's not too bad either, being retired, man. You know what I mean? I got people in the villages that do less than this, and they look pretty good. <laughs> so you're not doing too bad, buddy. Uh, you know, you got ailments, too. Are you, are you in pain? No. Are you not? That's good. So you can't move and everything. But mentally, you want to go back to work anyway, I think, right? Yeah. Basically, it's just money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, th th that'll change up. Do you have the same gig that you're going back to? Or yeah. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Good. So that would jump up, and then you're at a hundred grand. So either way, in between the two of these, I know you can afford. Uh, let's see what your monthly is. So if I take sixty-four thousand divided by twelve, you guys are bringing in five thousand three hundred and thirty-four dollars. And then if we bring in a hundred grand. Divided by 12 equals $8,334. Out of either one of these, what I'd like you to do is do this. If I took this and said, could you live on $5,000 a month? You'd say, yeah, I got an $800 mortgage. I got the foot where the car's paid off. I don't know. There's quite a few of them. Are you the only people to ride these things? Or? Yeah. That's all you? The 300? Three of them mine, and That's, one is my wife. The 300? Is that a grand marquee? Yes. Really? That's yeah. all I get you. Right. I took my driver's license in that damn right. thing. That's a beautiful. I had my mother had a beautiful one. It's only got about sixty thousand. Come on. Original. Number. I would. That's a hell of a ride. It is. <laughs> that's it. Floats too, man. Yeah. It's got the V eight. Yeah. Same three hundred five. Wow. Same thing. It moved too. Yeah. Yeah. Mustang. 
Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it's a horse though. Oh yeah. But it's smooth, man. Smooth. The three hundred though floats too. Yeah, that's that goes, huh? Yeah. I was gonna get one. Of, I got the Hemi though uh, with the, the yeah. Challenger. Um, but that's that's a that's a hell of a toy there. I think Subaru is nice too. That is too. They make yeah. a decent ride too. So if we took either one of these, you could afford three hundred dollars. But I don't think I don't know if it's gonna be that. But what, what I'm telling you to do here is this: you're in about money. If you don't find a fraction of your cash, and that's a low ball of what you're saving for yourself or her, for your future, you are doomed. It's going to hurt. And let me tell you something. I know as well as you do that we overspend. We spend oh, yeah. money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I took your receipts for, for three months. I used to make 190000 a year. But I had so much debt. That's what kills people, right? You get more. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah just, absolutely. <laughs> I know. More, I had to stop doing yeah. it, all right? I know. <laughs> yeah, I get it, man. I believe that if you take this 300 though, and you're at $3,600 a year savings, with $36,000, you'd be very well, in 20 years, you know, you'd have 70, 80,000 bucks put away. But it's, she has numbers that are lower than that. Remember, we're buying her time, and I'm telling you right now, if you don't do it, she's going to lose the equity. I can tell you that right now. It, it, let me tell you something. Maybe not. She has a decent income, but let's take her out of work. Now it's all changed. You know what I mean? Yeah. She She'll wants, have. She wants to retire awfully bad. <laughs> yeah, so she's going to do it yeah. eventually. And then her income drops to her Social Security. Right. The 401k is not much. Uh, so she's got, I don't know what her Social Security is, maybe 1500 maybe. I don't know. She's been working a while, you know. So she's got fifteen hundred, and you have roughly uh, eighteen hundred, three thirty three hundred bucks a month. You guys will be living on. Plus, you got pensions and shit though too, right? Yep. From not nothing from the VA or anything. Yep. Okay, so her inheritance would be two thousand one. Just remember, she gonna be worth more, about the same when you're dead though but you won't be here to chew up some of the money. So when she's alone, she'll be still at about $3,300 to $4,000 when you're dead because of the VA. That takes one year to get the. That's a death benefit. People do not talk, and they don't even tell people it's there, but it's there, buddy. So she needs to tell them, I want the death benefit, uh, monthly death benefit. So it's a monthly thing. So here's your, this is, let me write, can you write this on something a little neater so it's not on this page like this? Yeah. So you can see it. And make sure you put a dollar sign, please. Okay, so I'm going to have her rewrite this so you can understand it a little better. Uh, I'm going to pick this number big. If I take $20,000 and I hand it to your wife and you're no longer here, She's lost your income, okay? So she's out 1800 and uh, anything else you bring in through the disability, right? Which is only 200 bucks a week, right? So we have um, $3,000 loss. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty big. If she's, if she's no longer retired and she's got 1500 she's going to wait six months to a year before you should get your social security. That's the transfer time. And I called them and I asked them, why in the hell is it taking so long? And they said, we're the government. <laughs> That's what she told me. We don't hire anybody. <laughs> we got more deaths than ever be coming in. So here's your cost. And we're a brokerage. So when she punched it into that computer, that was everybody okay. that she offered. This here in between here, I don't care if it's here, this buys her time, this buys her time, this buys her time. This one might be maybe in between here too. I'd like to see 25,000 too. I wanted to get you to 25 grand is where I wanted you. The reason for that was to buy her $2,000 a month on top of the 1500 she has until she transfers to 1800. Now this buys her the time to sell and inherit. 
inherit the big number she's going to receive is probably in between 75k and 150k right from the house she can't play with staying here first of all she's not going to dig that too much longer too right you know oh, no, she doesn't even go up there anymore that oh, oh shit there, there you go <laughs> <laughs> so strictly for guest stuff there gotcha so what i want to do is twenty five thousand, and listen Fitting us into your budget, I know you have 200 bucks a month. You spend it on smokes alone. So yeah. we, we have the money. And I want you to look at this as a savings account for yourself, too. The importance of that is, is God forbid she does go first, that you still have a bulk of cash left behind, too. Okay. Right. And then if you only have 12 months to live, that you know, you inherit these numbers while you're alive, too. So the bulk of this is, is 25 grand. Anything on that yet? Um, wait for the 25 large. What were you thinking about this? I mean, what was your per perspective on this when you, when you, when you were filling this out, you know, what were you, what was the idea? Pay off the house, right? Actually, no. Okay. It was to, uh, in case of disability, then I'll get monthly payments. I got it. Oh, I see that, right. But do not qualify for that because of all the shit you already have for them. So they're taking your situation now. and now they, But there's a scenario for that. The scenario that I built for myself that I'm teaching you here is the cash inside here becomes tax-free when you pull it. So when you build the cash up inside her and you would become disabled for any reason, this would be your payments to your house. Oh, okay. Okay. So we just need time. What they're doing there is they even have two-year wait. So you'd have to wait two years before that disability thing kicked in. And it's only a certain amount of money. We're talking, in some cases, 200 to 600 bucks a month. Uh, which is helpful, you know, but it's not making a house payment, you know, in most cases. And it does come down to how much you're willing to spend on a damn thing, but it does work. But uh, in your case, I think it's like this. For both of you, if one of you passed, your best option for survival is to dump the house, either one of you. And that's going to happen. That's going to happen in either case. She doesn't have a choice. No, she does. She doesn't own it. No, but she owns the property next door. Well, that's okay too, but she has to figure out how she's going to pay off the house, you know, quickly. Remember, she only has three months. That's good that she owns that. I don't know what she's planning on I doing with it. We own it. Just, you know, if you own it, it's that's great. About 25000 Okay, so, so she, she has that. She can sell that and then that'll keep, keep it going. If that's her plan, I'd tell her to, you know, See what it's worth now. If it's worth twenty five grand now, dump it now and have that build money. No, we don't want anybody to move next. Time. I got you. Okay. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, uh, let me put it this way: that twenty five grand in the index market, like her four hundred one k, but no downsides. It every nine, every seven to nine years doubles. So she would turn it into fifty, and fifty would become one hundred. In twenty years, she'd have a hundred thousand dollars. Great Western. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Is this anything that. That's not me, people. That's you. That's me, yeah. yeah. LLB Forester's no. Fire. For 30000 Okay. Great West. Uh, Mutual of Omaha. I'll just give you a minute. Forester's. Yeah, Forester's. Standard. Be focused. I did. There's 25. It's down at the bottom here. Twenty-five thousand is three fifty-seven oh eight. Now let me tell you something. When I did your math, I'm going to did the math for your for your home. That's what I wanted you to have a reality check there. Is this is what you? Is this what the sheet I told you to bring in the money? Yeah. Let me see this right. That's not the, what the hell I do with that sheet. I showed you what your math is. That's your biweekly. Be one of these. Here it is. You brought in uh, roughly 
uh, $5,334 now. You bring in $8,334 when you're working. Mm -hmm. This is work. This is both you working though. Right. This is work. This is not. So under this stipulation, what I looked at is I said, they have to learn how to survive on $5,000 to $5,100. But I want you to save the rest. Remember, you are saving for yourself too here, okay? And I am concerned about your situation too because you're not taking into consideration and taking it very seriously. Inflation, taxes will go up, cost of living, Health care will rise, and the value of the dollar is going down. This is very vital to you. Okay, you've been around long enough to see it happen. Yeah. When you're older, though, the numbers get lower, and the shit gets higher. So don't let it hit you in the ass. This is what you guys should be using. In any case, either one of these cases. I don't care if you're on 8000 This is probably where you're going to end up, because you know you're going, you're going back to work, right? Yeah. Okay, so you know that you're going to have that coming in when she's working, but she retires, brother, these numbers change, obviously. Yeah. Then you have your, what do you earn at work again, uh, year, if you go back to work? About 38,000. Okay, so it's 38 grand there. And then let's say your wife is just bringing in 1,500 a month, so your 38 is about, uh, what, 3,500 a month or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you guys will still have about five grand a month coming. So you're okay there, too, even if she retires and you go to work. So if she stops working, you have to go back to work, right? Yeah. <clears throat> However, in either case, even in this case, if I took 300 bucks out of here, you guys still have 4,700 bucks left over, which is good because of the, the situation is you got to pay $800. However, with the biweekly payment arrangements, you should knock off 10 years. Well, I'm in a process of rebranding the house now. So let me drop my payments down to 400 Okay, then talk to the mortgage company then, or, or the finance company. Mm -hmm. Ask them if they offer bi-weekly payment arrangements, okay? Okay. And <clears throat> if you work with me, I can do that with you. But if it's, it, the, we want to split it down. Now, if you had 400 bucks a month, you're going to pay 200 200 But if they knock off 10 years, that's freaking gold for you, you know what yeah. I mean? Because you're just paying 200, 200 bucks. That's it. So now, if you're around 20 years from now, you pay off the house instead of 30. Is this thing 30 years? Yeah. Yeah. So if you can I make know it. I won't be around 30 years. No, but 20, <laughs> you may be. There's going to be a chance in 20. I don't know, but it could be a chance. Uh, but she probably will be. And and the good news is, is that you'll probably give her 10 to 20 years, right? So in between 10 and 20 years, 